Hey, my gorgeous friends. I got a new phone and it's big, big. My other one crapped out on me. It finally had enough of me. It said, lady, you are just working me too hard. So I've been wanting to try it out for a shopping trip and we haven't done one of these in too long, too long. I gotta say though, the camera looks 10 times better on this new one. <laughs> HD. Oh, hey. You wanna be in my video? So we're hitting up Ulta and Mac today. I'm working on a Frugal Friday for this week, which you'll see this video in the future so you'll know which one I'm talking about. And I'm looking for some dupes that I don't have. So we have to find them. This is half the fun, am I right? Just going in and hunting for dupes. <laughs> and hopefully we won't get caught by the makeup police. Dun, dun, dun. Lipsticks right there. Well, let's test some of these out. Ooh, very creamy. Wow. So, Steel has got some new. So I need a new brown eyeliner and I just watched Lionfish from uh, Stila. This has been happening to me all day in Ulta. When I go to get what I want, I'm always getting the last one. I got luck today. I think this is such a cool idea. Little minis of all of the popular products and so that you can try them. I don't know why they didn't come up with something like this sooner. Okay, Rock. you're killing me with this palette here. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is their new Nude Necessities palette. 30 bucks, oh my gosh. You know, I do not need another nude palette. Do I? <laughs> do I? Well, we know they're gonna be good. We just, oh my goodness, they are so buttery. Uh -huh. Okay, just look at this one. What is the shade name on this one? Aura. It is the perfect dusty rose pink. And this one is more like a peachy color. Technicolor. Wow. New products for next. Those are getting real colorful. Look at those colors. Whoa. Wow, look at that liquid eyeliner. These are swatches of these new felt eyeliners. Very pigmented. I mean, that is just one swipe right there. This is the Makeup Revolution display. I told you about in one of my videos a uh, while back for Frugal Fridays. Ours is always pretty well stocked in the store. Great products. I did very good. If I do say so myself, I went in just exactly for what I needed and maybe a couple more things. But while we're here, I gotta head on over to Staples, get some printer ink, and then we'll head over to Mac. I don't know if I ever told you this, but I have a secret obsession for office supplies. It's almost as bad as my obsession for shoes. 
now we are on to Mac. Look at that blue sky today. Mm, so pretty. Nice that it's not raining for a change. blue eyeliners, right? Look at this one right there. Oh, wow. That's one of the, um, what are they called? Pearl Glide eyeliners in the shade Industrial. Oh. And the Velvet Tease lipsticks from MAC. I swatched a bit of That here. might be the winner then. Very creamy. Well, this one bled out horribly. Quite a standout. Well, yes, you are, buddy, because you bled awfully. Look at that. Fall time! It's been a while since we've done one of these, hasn't it been? It's been a hot minute. All right, we'll start with Ulta because that was the first place that I went to. You don't need to see that. Ulta was having a really great sale on Makeup Revolution products. It was buy one, get one, 50% off. So I picked up a bunch of their blushes. I bought one of these previously, and it's really, really good. I picked up the shades Divine fusion and beloved so i am anxious to try these out in a future frugal friday video and what else did i get okay so if you saw last not last week was it yeah i'm trying to think of when i'm recording this video last frugal friday's video i did a dupe for the lipstick that i was wearing and i had to go and find that dupe in ulta so i picked up nyx's mauve lip liner which is a dupe for max whirl and NYX's Whipped Caviar Lipstick, which is a dupe for Max Brave. And I also picked up NYX's Thalia because I read that that was supposed to be a dupe for Brave also, but it's not. It's just a touch off in color. So I ended up not using Thalia. And the final product from Ulta is one of the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliners, and this is in the shade Lionfish. I really like this one. It has like a reddish brown hue to it. Very, very pretty, but you can see I did really well at Ulta. I didn't buy them out this time. Mac, well, now that is a different story. Cool, no, mm -mm. Okay, so one of the things that I picked up at Mac was the Turquatic Perfume. <sighs> I love this stuff. A friend of mine, Gina, hi Gina, bought this for me for my birthday one year. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, breathe it in. It is so, so good just not in close quarters. <laughs> and this is my husband's favorite, favorite scent. He loves this one. Needless to say, he was really happy when I bought another one. Lip liners. I picked up a few MAC lip liners that I've had on my wish list for a while now. The first one being Whirl, which I already mentioned because I had to find that dupe for the Frugal Fridays video that I did. So you've already seen that one. The other one that I got was Soar because a friend of mine, Chanel, Hey Chanel, loves this one, I think. I think I've seen you wear this one a lot and I said, ho oh, ho ho, that's pretty. It's just a simple nude lip liner. So I'm looking forward to pairing that up with a lot of MAC lipsticks that I have. And then I also picked up one of the Velvet Tees lip pencils. This is a new addition to MAC right now and I got the shade Promise Me. When I swatched it, it looked an awful lot like MAC's Creme de Nude lipstick in terms of color, and I love Creme de Nude with a passion. So I'm always looking for shades like that. I know, isn't that bad? Should be buying other colors. I just buy the same color in different forms. But I did really like these when I tried them out in the store. They do dry to a matte consistency, so I'm looking forward to using that. What else did I pick up here? Oh, speaking of which, I got another Creme de Nude replacement because I just went through another tube of Creme de Nude. I swear I have replaced that one at least three times now. I also picked up one of the MAC blending sponges. I was looking at these when we were on our shopping trip and I said, hmm, I've been wanting to buy another beauty blender, but I've kind of been putting it off. And then I saw this and I was talking to the lady in MAC and she says, oh, I love this one 10 times more than I love my beauty blender. So. If she likes it that much, I was like, well, I have to try it. So I think I'm gonna have to do a review video comparing this to the Beauty Blender to see if it is a little bit better. And the best part is it's half the price of the Beauty Blending sponge. So Beauty Blender, 20 bucks. This is only 10. 
So that's everything. And I'm already planning the next shopping trip because we don't do enough of these. I feel like we need to do more of these. Am I right? So let me know what you think about this idea. I was thinking about taking you clothes shopping with me and just showing you my favorite places for getting really great quality clothing at a more affordable price because there are some places that I frequent for some really great stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's shopping trip. If you'd like to be included in future shopping trips, don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.